Yo, so I'm here to review the Quavo slash Takeoff album called Rocket Power, bro. First, I want to start by saying long live Takeoff, man. We all know that Takeoff lost his life down in Houston when Quavo and him decided to go out and do the little gambling. But that went wrong, man. Rest in peace to Takeoff. Now, this album here got some slaps on it. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, man. All y'all little Uzi Vert fans, all y'all Travis Scott fans, Quavo delivered. I said it, yo. Quavo delivered, man. This is an overall great album, in my opinion, for music because there's a balance of, of turning up and there's a balance of message, man. That's what the rap game been missing. So, a few tracks that stand out to me is uh, that song he got with uh, Future, Turn Your Click Up, Dog. Hey, Turn Your Up, Dog. Yeah. That joint gonna slap, bro. Like, that is a song that's gonna be played in all the clubs. Everywhere you go, I guarantee you, as you roll into the winter time, that song will be going crazy. And that song will be hitting the Billboard charts. That is a Quavo hit. Like, that's a hit for Quavo, man. Let's just keep it all the way above. That song is fire. Uh, Future went in on that joint, too, bro. Like, he even threw, he threw shots at, uh, <laughs> he threw shots at Russell Wilson, who is Sierra's um husband. You know what I'm saying? You know, Future and Sierra got a little history. They got to they share a child together. But for some reason, man, Future don't like Russell Wilson at all. And he still feels the need to throw shots at Russell Wilson. I'm going to read what he said, man. One of the lyrics. He said, Big Dog status Bell Harbor. A ball in his maw for my brothers. Go yard bag toe the cutter. I got it out the field. F. Russell. That's right. F. Russell. Yo, he throwing shots at my boy Russell Wilson. He goes on to say, he goes on, man. He... That wasn't the only person that Future dissed on this song, y'all. He said, go and ask Lori Harvey about the protect. Then go ask Jordan, ask Des. Felipe Water trying to drown a... It's a habit tricking on a... Yo, yo, he be tricking. All right, so what he's saying is basically he bought Lori Harvey a, a protect. That's a watch. That's a very, very expensive watch. He said, go ask her about it. You know what I'm saying? He said, ain't nothing to trick, man. So that's just a highlight from that song. All right, man. So one of the another standout songs on this album was Mama Told Me, man. Now, we all know that Migos is synonymous with Mama. You know what I'm saying? Takeoff is always say, out Mama. That was like his ad lib. Mama. All right. So Quavo thought it was a great idea, which I salute this, bro. Like, we got to pay homage to our mothers. And that's what he did. And in the song, he really opened up and said, like, even as a youngster, like, his mom told him, like, don't gamble. Don't, because you know when these people start breaking you off and taking your money, you will get mad. And ultimately, that's what happened that led to Takeoff's murder. Like, Quavo was gambling. And when money's involved with people, man, things go left sometimes. And that's what happened. And he did a lot of reflection on the importance of his mom and listening to his mom. And I thought that was a, uh, that was a, that was a great thing to do, especially hip hop, man. Everybody want to talk about guns. Everybody want to talk about how much money they got, but nobody want to talk about real things in life. And mama is always a song that, that people can relate to because everybody got a mama. You might love your mama. You might hate your mama, but you got a mama. Tupac proved that with their mama. So I think this song, Mama Told Me, is Quavo's Dear Mama. That's how, I, that's how I say it, man. Like, it's Quavo's Dear Mama. It's a great song. To me, the best song on this album here, Rocket Power, is the song that Quavo got all by himself. He got a song that is called Where Can I Start? To me, that song gonna go crazy. That is the song that's gonna go on TikTok. And that is the song that's gonna, like, Brick Quavo off as a, a solo artist. Like, that song is, like, it's trendy enough, it's fun enough, and the beat is so uh, melodic. Well, he, his voice on that song is, like, perfect, man. Quavo gives us great melodies, great strong song structure, and he is delivered on this album, bro. Like, bro, I can't complain about this. this song, the album is 18 songs, but he gave at least four or five, like, songs that could be hits. Like, that's what I think, man. A lot of artists deliver... A whole bunch of mid. They got maybe got one single. Quavo got at least four to five songs that I believe will chart on the Billboard Hot 100, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, he got a song with Young Thug on here. I really didn't care for that one too much. Uh, another one I thought was fire was uh, Disciples, man. Disciples is a fire. It's a little bit darker, but melodically, that song is fire. Overall, man, I'm going to rate this album a 
8.5 out of 10, man. If y'all have not heard the Quavo slash Takeoff Rocket Power album, man, I highly suggest y'all go check that joint out right now, man. If you have heard it, drop a comment of y'all favorite song, man. Let me know what song y'all was rocking with or wasn't rocking with. If y'all rocking with the album or not, it's your boy Busy, bro, and I'm gone.